How's it going, everybody? It's my birthday. Happy birthday! It's not actually my birthday when I'm recording this, but by the time I upload it on my birthday, it will be my birthday. In honor of my birthday, I didn't want to make a video to where I was making fun of somebody else or a topic, whatever. I wanted to make fun of myself. And I thought, what better way to do that than to go back through my pictures and really just see the awkwardness that is me. Let's start this off with something easy, something nice, just so I feel better about myself. This is probably going to be the best one, just saying that. This was at my sister Marcy's wedding. It's me, my sister Marcy, my sister Christina, and then my brother Lucas. And I know what you're thinking, which one's me? It's this one. Oh God, that's so curly. What got even worse is that as I got older, my parents put like a headband on me to keep my hair back. There's, I don't know if I have that picture. I, I hope I do. All right, but that one was good. That one, that one wasn't bad. I, I enjoyed that one. Next. Not bad. I, w I was cute at one point, but again, look at my hair. It's so curly. From my hair now, like gelled and combed, I'm, I'm gonna go back to this look. This was a good look for me. You know how I know this is the 90s? Look at that couch. That's a 90s couch if I ever saw one. See, at this age, I was just, I was overflowing with just cuteness. It doesn't get much cuter than this. Next! I, I played an angel for a uh, Christmas production. That's right, I'm an actor. That's my cousin Destiny. The worst part about this is the halo. Like, not even the wings or the white gown. It's the halo. Hey. <laughs> hey. Look at all these Popeye's coupons. <laughs> Shout out to Popeyes for sending us this. So, it's not going to get any better from here. Anyway. Just a, a warning. Alright, so from now on, the pictures will not be in order chronologically. They are just random pictures that I pulled off of social media. I have like a couple people send me some, so... Next! So you might think to yourself, this isn't a bad one. They're just taking a picture. Except this is the first picture that we ever took together on our first date. That's my wife, by the way. I, I wasn't even like touching her. There's just, just enough space right there for the Holy Spirit. I think, I think this picture was taken probably in like 2011. God. I'm like, I'm, I'm blushing. Like I am so, ugh. I was trying to do like the comb over like I do now, but I was still like worried about how I would look So I still did the the wave in the front with my hair. I did that same haircut literally this haircut from like five Until about 13 and then from there I I grew my hair out bad You want to know how bad this bad I'm sorry Sorry for everybody that knew me during this phase of my life and that's it combed to the side. Without it like that, my hair was like, my chin, the longest was like maybe an inch or two below my chin. Oh, just my bangs. Everything else was short, but just my bangs. And like you saw in the previous picture, how curly my hair was, I had to straighten my hair. <laughs> Ugh. Next. This isn't that bad. Kind of hard to see. I'm with my uh, my nephew Ethan, except I'm rocking a mullet. This is probably like 2008, 2007. And you know what? I remember my family, my brother, my sisters, telling me to cut my hair. Don't grow your hair out. You look gross. We are ashamed of you. But I still thought I looked so cool. So for anybody watching this that, you know, you think that your hair looks great, all combed out like that, it probably does. I just look... I just look bad. Oh God. Oh, what do you, what's wrong with that one? It's just a class picture from a field trip. And this is the thing, my hair was straightened and then my hair is curly. So whenever I would sweat and I would straighten my hair, it would just shrink back up 
from all the sweat. So anybody who knew me and you saw my hair like that know that I was just constantly sweaty. And this stance, like what? What was I trying to do? Like I'm, like look at my feet, like I'm, ugh. Next. Oof. I look like an alien. Like I actually look like I'm from outer space and I'm trying to act human. This is bad. This looks like before my hair got long enough to where I could straighten it, and so I was just combing it down. Ugh, the black sweatshirt. And I remember this one, because I cut holes so I can put my uh, headphones in there, and I would wear my, my hoodie like halfway up my head just so I could listen to music. And 100% it was My Chemical Romance and like probably Panic at the Disco. Next. Oh. God. Oh. I don't, I feel like there should be some sort of explanation on why I was wearing these clothes. That Superman shirt, as you can see, I bought from the kids section because it fit me. And then the hat. My nose is almost as big as my neck. Like my neck is just like long and my nose is like the same exact size. All right, we need some sort of palate cleanser, so check it. That's right, it's not all on me now. Now it's my brother-in-law's. But that yellow uh, muscle shirt that I'm wearing, pretty sure I wore it till I was like 13. Just saying, and I'm probably six or seven in this picture. <laughs> yep, I, uh, this is uh, my 17th birthday, almost 10 years ago. I was trying to do a faux hawk, trying to uh, get away from the previous, like, hair done on my face look. And my next greatest thing was a and I got made fun of in school for this. I think that was like a shark or whatever. I don't, I don't remember exactly. I try to suppress those memories because they just make me sad. But I can't, I can't argue with them. But hashtag glow up. I'm sorry. Next. Yeah, that's right. An actor, a singer, and a dancer. Horrible at all three. I don't have any complaints about this one. I still make the same exact face. The most prominent feature on me is my nose. Look at that bad boy. Yeah, yeah. It's like a John Krasinski nose, or like a, a Richard Nixon nose. Next. Looks like I'm on drugs. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that like, I was at my skinniest at this point. Ugh. I was at my skinniest at that point, and I was at my fattest, at this point. I might not look that bad, just I don't know how the it's gonna look on your screen, but I was really heavy. I'm probably like 180, 185 at this point of 100% beer weight. At this point, I'm, I think I'm 21. Yeah, yeah, I'm 21. Yeah, because, because the night before this, I, oof, sorry mom. <laughs> Abby and I had gone to Specs, which is a, uh, liquor store and we had bought no name vodka green apple vodka and a two liter of sprite and we mixed it not well and it tasted like a jolly rancher so we're like oh this is great so we did shot after shot after shot and then i poured it into like a cup and we're, we were just drinking it like it was juice i woke up just super hungover i woke up super late and forgot that we had to go to this brunch. So we go to a Mexican restaurant, and the entire time I thought that I was gonna die. Next. This is from a family trip in Hawaii. My loving, very loving siblings took a photo of me, and what you can't see is that my eyes are open because I tend to sleep with my eyes open. And I remember this because after this picture, they started throwing stuff into my mouth. Next. Here you go. This is the face 
that someone makes whenever they're like, who just farted? And they look at you and you're like, I ended up marrying this girl. No, switch that. She ended up marrying this guy. You wanna know even better? She married this guy. <laughs> oh my God. I'm laughing because I'm trying to mask the embarrassment from this picture. She's like, hey, you should smile. And so I do, but don't know how to smile. And so my natural reaction is. <laughs> All right, well, on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for everybody who subscribed to me, all eight of you. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. I hope I made you laugh, but to end it, I'm gonna show you the best part about all this, about having the awkward phase is this right here. I married the hot girl that I met when I was 16 years old, and I have this right here. And to make it even better, I have a second one coming. Baby Dean will be here in May. So thank you, Abigail, for being super hot and canceling out my awkwardness. Anyways, I got, got sidetracked there. Here's a picture of me and my brother.